FNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We begin our day with a mixed bag. The mix goes like this. you got the Dow up 31 points. The S&P is up 3. NASDAQ 1 is up 39. Russell's off 12. Semis are down 5. Trannies are up 8. We've got a mixed bag out there. The mix continues. Gold's off $9. Silver's up 6 pennies. Lights recruit is up 83 cents. Natural gas is back 11 pennies. And a 30-year treasury is down one point and two ticks. She's printed out at 119.12. Let's try to figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini upper left-hand side. We have shifted to the September contract. There is a new profile that is attempting to form. I can tell you that this profile continues to shift, comes back, goes away, different values. But right now, we'll, we do we will use the data. The data suggests that sellers reside at 55.1950 and buyers are between the range of 54.68 and 54.81. If price is able to close above the 55.1950 level, well, actually, it would go ahead and confirm a TD9 count top. Price needs to tick above, just spike above the high from the trading day of June 12th, and that high is at 55.1950. So for those of you that really want to get short, you're actually looking and you're pulling for a bit of a rally and at least one tick above that level. Spot volatility is rising, but continues to find resistance at that 50-day exponential moving average. The 50-day is at 13.42. If price closes above that, well, we may have a change in trend for the S&P 500. The NQ is going to go ahead and confirm a TD9 count top today. It'll complete that pattern tomorrow. So there could be a top that's forming. It sure like to see the ES Mini and the NQ generate a similar type of topping signal. In the case of the U.S. dollar index, it does have an A to B equal CD pattern to the upside. That would get us to 105.66. However, price is running into resistance at the center of its bearish structured weekly profile, and that's at the 105.22. We take a look at Goldilocks. It's trading inside the cone of silence between a rising trend line and a descending trend line. Price is trading above the top of its the center of its uh, uh, daily profile, 23.34. That would suggest to us, as long as price can remain above 23.34, we see a run up towards that trend line or even the top of the profile at 23.86. Silver found support at the bottom of its daily profile a couple of days ago. It's now above that profile level. That suggests that it should rally further. Light Street Crew is in a breakout mode, so to speak. It's just struggled at its trend line. Looks like it's going to be able to take that out. Price should go target the top of its weekly, I'm sorry, the center of its weekly profile. And that's at the 79.71 level. Natural gas, which has a, I believe it's got a Roachment indicator top, should pull back to 276. And you could get a top today inside of the 30-year treasury. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Z Show. But if you want to start your Monday, have a magnificent one. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.